Hey guys, I'm Jeremy with The Armory Life. When I first got my hands on the SA35, I was blown away at how comfortable it was in my hands and how easy it was to shoot. I wasn't super familiar with the P35 pistol from the past, so I didn't have a lot of preconceived notions to go off of. I was honestly surprised that the design didn't take off as much as the 1911 in the earlier years. But I think probably back then, the 9 versus 45 ACP cartridge is what kept the 1911 in the lead. Fast forward to 2022 and the 9 millimeter is the reigning champ. I think there's a huge market for the SA35 and I wanted to take mine and just see how awesome I could make it. Over the last year I've seen some incredible pistols come out of the fine folks over at Mark III Firearms, especially some beautiful P35s. I contacted them to see if they were interested in putting their spin on the SA35. They were all about it very excited about the resurgence of the pistol and ready to show the world how great this pistol really is, especially after they are done with it. Before sending it to Mark III, I sent it to my buddy at 2A Tactical AZ, who is a master of laser engraving. I wanted the pistol to really reflect where it came from in the namesake of Springfield Armory. I had him laser the crossed cannons and the SA-35 logo on the right side of the slide. I also had him do some lasering on the front and back strap for a unique design. I then sent the pistol off to Mark III Firearms and all I told them was I wanted kind of like a gray and black motif, but to have them go wild. A couple months later, I got a shipment notification saying that my pistol was on its way back to my FFL. When I arrived at my FFL and I checked out this pistol, I was absolutely blown away. My SA-35 was looking better than I ever could have imagined. The work that Mark III Firearms did is as following. 11 degree crown barrel, Trigicon HD front sight, Haney, mil-spec, ledge, low-mounted rear sight, channeled for the hammer. Ported and polished barrel. BH Springs extractor. Hand-contoured mini spur hammer. Single-stage trigger job. Reprofiled factory trigger. Custom tri-blended Cerakote slide and frame with graphite black controls. RDIH slide release. 25 LPI hand-checkered mag release. Lock palm swell bogey grips welded beaver tail, and a blended magwell. Using the SA-35 as a baseline, they turned this thing into a tuned precision piece of machinery. At first glance, you can tell all the hard work and passion that went into everything on this pistol. The folks at Mark III Firearms are masters of their craft, and they created a one-of-a-kind pistol for me. On the range, the pistol was familiar, but everything about shooting it was made smoother, easier, and a bit more enjoyable. The trigger is out of this world. It's lightweight with very little travel and a crispy break with a super short reset. The port of barrel and slide really help drive the pistol right back on target. I remember being impressed by the way the stock SA-35 shot, but this upgrade by Mark III Firearms is a whole new level of awesome. They essentially upgraded just about every little piece and part of what makes the SA-35 a great pistol. The lock bogey palm swell grips ensure a great lockup in your hands, and they're stylish to boot. I may try a few different versions of the lock grips to see which ones are my favorite, but I'm really digging the bogey pattern. I feel extremely blessed to have the opportunity to connect with brands like Springfield Armory and Mark III Firearms to be able to test products like this and share them with the world. The SA-35 deserves the limelight and the customization that the folks at Mark III Firearms do just make it that much better. If you have an SA-35 or a 1911, I would highly suggest getting in touch with Mark III Firearms to see what they can do to make your pistol dreams come true.